Be sure to check out our other most recent video of a silo turned into a tiny house right here on the channel. By the way, this might be a little out of line with what I usually do. Bear with me on this tiny house channel. Uh, but this is usually something that would be on Streets Shall Provide, my other channel, which deals with travel, thrift, reuse, repurposing, salvage, exploration, all that kind of stuff. Um, we're going to mess around, do some DIY art here. I do a lot of graffiti art and stuff on the side. Follow my Instagram channel, and we have an art workshop coming up based on reuse, building, crafting, all that. Tons, tons of wild stuff you'll make in a full day that you'll get to take home, which you can use as gifts. Check that in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Deke, RelaxShacks.com and Streets Shall Provide. I just went to the dentist, no cavities. And every time I go to the dentist, it's a little bit far away from my home. I use the trip as an excuse to hit a couple of different stores, one of which is a thrift shop. And every time I go somewhere, I try to find something on the side of the road on longer drives or even coming down to the dentist. I said to myself, how can I find something that I can quickly sell or flip that will pay for all the gas and then some, maybe buy me lunch, um, that I, all the gas that I use in a trip down to X, Y, or Z. Um, so I stop at this thrift shop here in Hanover, Massachusetts, and I'm gonna see what I can find that I can flip into money and maybe make into a fun little video like this thing right here. So let's do this. I'll buy that for a dollar or four. All right, sorry for the noise. Busy road. Here's what I got today. 15 bucks total. This was like a buck and change. Uh, I always throw books to my kids to try to get them into reading more, and they kind of enjoy the thriller stuff. Dean Koontz, hardcover. Um, I'm going to graffitiify this sports coat, which fits me. It was 10 bucks. I front the band Inverter, and I wear this crazy graffitied stuff on stage. And here's that painting again. I will do a cool graffiti piece. I have some leftover like peach colored paint that might be cool in here if I do some ink work over it. So I'm gonna turn that into cold, hard graffiti cash, like so. All right, back at the ranch and pardon the excessive smokiness in the background. I'm burning a bunch of like debris, debris. Uh, here's a couple other things layer wise I'm working on. You might see those in the future on my Instagram page. It's getting windy here. Sorry about the audio. Here's the canvas I grabbed. I am running low on colors, color choices of spray paint. I'm going to use this because blue and orange together looks awesome. And let's start working on this. First, the background layer, then the Sharpie marker in ink work later on, which you will see in time lapse format. All right. I need a uh, wider angle lens to do this or a tripod, but I'm gonna try to do this handheld, which is always tough, or at least I will start it. And then I'll show you what I have afterwards. It's just gonna get a little bit wild. This is free form, uh, very slashy. You know, I kind of do a light outline of what I want. If it stinks, I change it up. I want this guy I'm thinking to have come kind of weird duck billed mouth, which will look like that. I don't want him to be a duck though, but I like how the orange is gonna look in this. I have some tealish color I can accent with later. Oh, not close enough. See, I lose my depth perception when I'm looking through the lens to do this. That will be the rough outline of what I'm doing. Let me hit it with some more color, uh, some background fill and all that. And I'll show you in a second. It's going to look like a total mess. But when I start doing the marker work, I think it's going to look kind of cool. We'll see. And you can be the judge of that. If you dig these kind of videos, please subscribe or check out Streets Shall Provide. If you don't, don't worry. Tiny House stuff is in the way. In fact, we just featured a really cool, really, really cool silo tree house on this channel. The most recent video. Check that. So I filled this in a bit, really wanted to go for the drip. Once the black ink work comes in, it will change things up drastically as you probably have seen before. Here's a mini piece I'll do on the side. Form a yard sale sign. I'm gonna make it as something duck-like as well. But let's focus on this one. Okay, add an eight, because I found a stencil that said eight, so I figured why the heck not. I'm gonna add a little bit of like neon yellow to this too, because I found a can. This thing just whipped up. It's like a, uh, I don't know, vapid-eyed ogre creature with a bow tie. Why not? This thing's still working on. That's not the focus of the video though. So this nasty paint, I'm trying to salvage some of it. I'm gonna add that.